What's up guys? This is Bull by the Fell Handed. I've recently received a request on how to do an armored cab. So that's what we're going to do. It was specifically the trucker. That being said, I had it and sold it. <laughs> I'm not really in the slow builds, but it's okay. I'm going to use a docker. I think it is. I'm going to use a docker and I'm going to show you how to armor it up. Now, if you don't have these particular pieces you essentially want to you know go for the biggest bang for the buck in other words you want to have the largest pieces with the highest structure rating now we are going to take what we learned yesterday and we are going to put that to use while we are building the frame we have our gas tank here our extra large gas tank down in the frame which I highly recommend you build and we are going to put 8x4s here on the end instead of the 6x4s just kind of widen it up a little bit and then we are going to start with like a a centrally mounted cab you could even go one further you know as long as you know for a fact you're not going to get you know surrounded by the quicker builds and do a rear mounted cab now what we're going to do is we're going to armor up front sides rear and the front, which is where we are going to see the, the largest amount of contention, is going to be the most armored. And we are going to put things on there that are pretty hefty. Now, what you need to watch for is you need to watch your weight. Make sure you don't push up past your weight. And you need to watch for your, your total build pieces. Because that is going to stop you a lot you know a lot of time before something else <clears throat> so you just need to make sure you end up having enough parts left to do what you want to do you know add more wheels add whatever so just keep that in mind and if you're you know concerned with you know building into this vehicle a reputation bonus just make sure you keep a certain amount of parts available for that as well now a lot of people are going to say, well, you know, how do you get more parts? You have to level up with your basic faction, the engineers, to gain more parts. Because the main issue is you're going to have more parts that you can actually put on your particular vehicle. So you just need to be aware of that. You need to put the biggest ones that give you the most uh, structure. And you're going to see if you look at a part, it's going to say, you know, structure, weight, power score, things like that. So you want the larger sheets that give you a high structure the biggest bang for your buck because you know sometimes when you start out you're gonna have a lot of these smaller pieces and they're not gonna do so so much so you may not have this but that's fine if you don't just mimic this as much as you can and see as you can see right now we have a box the box steers it does okay it's not mobile it's not fast but that's okay we are not building a mobile fast particular build and the reason is you can't really armor up like this and expect to be fast it's just not going to happen you could even put a growl which is one of the fastest cabins in the game and put a, a really good engine in it and you're going to be semi fast just not fantastic so just be aware of that so we are mounting a light engine which costs zero energy uh, inside the armor here as well as a light generator give us an extra power point and then we're just going to you know continue with this build we're just going to modify it just a little bit uh, possibly mount some machine guns on top what have you and essentially this doesn't necessarily have to be any type of build if you're going to do a cannon build normally what you would do is kind of put them side by side armor up the sides that way you know they can't get taken out from the side they can only get taken out from the front and the cannons as a general rule do have considerable uh, structure before you can take them out versus the machine guns which don't have tons and tons of structure now also be aware that if you don't necessarily have a very very fast build you are going to be susceptible to getting your you know weapons what have you getting shot off by machine guns because a lot of times that's what people will do is you know when when they see you there and you're a lumbering target they're going to target your machine guns your cannons your what have you whatever they can see they're going to try to shave off now just be aware of that 
a lot of times you have to have like a happy medium in this game and have uh, you know a combination of speed and armor but that's kind of you know an issue you're not really gonna have the best of both worlds so I don't know I would recommend speed but it, it takes a while you have to get used to the steering in this game so you have to kinda get used to the speed now I'm using these van windows here just to kinda show you that you know they take up a lot of space so it's it's a big it's a good return on investment I guess is what I'm saying so we've got a, a few layers on the front end here and you know you guys may not have all these pieces what I have been doing is I'll go to a faction I'll change factions and I'll run that faction for 24 hours or however much until I can I can change and then I'll go back to my previous faction and what that does is you're going to get all the parts for that level one just right away so it's a good idea when you're first starting out to give you a boost on your parts so just thrown out out there just think about it so we you know you can, if you look here you can put any manner of weapons on this thing you want it's essentially ready for any kind of customization we've got a lot of armor a lot of armor on the front end here we've got two reinforced levels which are the the bits from the nomads and the scavengers the big thick burly walls and then we've got the other stuff the van bits there in the middle and then this is the end here is from the scavengers uh, airplane parts so I mean you know we've got it really 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 armored up now that being said you know that doesn't necessarily mean that you know a guy with a fat man comes around the corner and doesn't blow three quarters of it off with one shot but that's you know that's just the name of the game the things like that are gonna happen you know if you meet a guy with a minigun he is going to just annihilate most of that armor so just keep that in mind uh, now if you guys are looking for any specific like cannon build like you know static cannons like the Avengers uh, just let me know I will show you how to run that I ran static cannons for the vast majority of the, the beginning of my cross out career here that's all I ran was static cannons and, and you know you can cover them up you know I had mine I had mine covered on the sides I had them covered on the top and I had them covered underneath the guns so <laughs> I just had like a little crack of daylight I could see out and shoot but that's that's exactly what you want you don't want to get your guns taken off you don't want anybody to come in there and shave your machine guns off or your cannons or whatever even though the cannons are a bit harder to take off so just throwing that out there now we're gonna kind of post these machine guns since we've got a tall build here we're going to move these vectors to the top here and you know I kinda realized as soon as I did this I said you know it'd be even better if we could just move the weapons to the outside that way they wouldn't affect each other you could just kind of go and have at it so that's exactly what we're gonna do and the reason I'm putting them on these mounts is the thing is they're gonna get shot off anyway if somebody decides to shoot them off but you might as well have them be be able to aim down now this is not very pretty <laughs> I'm not I'm not trying to sell you on the prettiness of this because I know it's not going to happen but it is effective and it is armor nonetheless now the vectors if you don't have vectors use cords you know uh, or specters whatever if you don't have these particular guns use whatever shotguns now close combat melee builds are an entirely different animal if you guys are interested in that send me a message you know in the comments or a message by the fell fellhanded on Facebook and I'll sort you out the melee builds you know the the augers the things like that shotgun builds they're totally different and a lot of times you're gonna see guys that run the shotgun builds what they're gonna do is they're gonna have shotguns working in combination with melee weapons okay so anyway we're gonna add a little bit of reputation bonus here because that is very important I'm just essentially gonna show you guys to make sure you go out there you get some stuff to give you a little bit of boost you hit the market I would start with the common things first you know individual black brake lights excuse me 
fluorescent lights, things like that. When you have a little bit more money, then you can kind of get the hell pipes or the side pipes or even the bullhorns. Who knows? Okay, so we are going to run a game with this monstrosity. And we're going for the cabin here. We're going to show you guys how this thing operates. Now, this is a little bit different from a missile build. This is a machine gun build, but, you know, if you go out there with the cannons or your shotguns or your drones or everything, anything like that, each of these things has strengths and weaknesses, so you kind of have to act accordingly. Now, you know, from a world of tanks players out there, you don't, you know, treat this exactly like the game. You want to go up. You don't want to be first in line because that person gets annihilated. You want to be the guy in the back putting rounds on target that nobody's aware of. <laughs> so, you know, I'm not saying play cautiously, but at the same time, I'm saying play smart. How's that? You don't necessarily want to sit in the cap circle the whole whole game. You're not really going to get, you know, much of a rep bonus doing that or a, a reputation score doing that. But at the same time, you know, you need to get in here and make things happen. Now, as you can see here, this gentleman is not necessarily focusing me. Someone else is. But he is engaged, and I am lathering him up with rounds with this triple setup of machine guns. And, you know, there's two of them, so I kind of focus on the guy who his cabin is exposed. That's exactly what you want to do. You want to lather up the guys whose cabin is just hanging out there, put rounds on target, and they will eventually explode. Because at that point, that's when your health is going bye-bye right there. That's when your health's going bye-bye. So that's, you know, most of the time you want to have your cabin buried. Now, the downside is it looks nothing like a car. It kind of looks like just a box. That's why I kind of liked my particular build, because it actually looked like a car. <laughs> so we got a guy over here. I'm just trying to poke up just enough to have the machine gun sticking up. And we're exchanging a little bit of fire here. The good news, though, is we are in the cap circle. He is not. If we decide he doesn't need to shoot at us anymore, we can just pull up behind this cover here. So, got one of my machine guns taken off. Another one right there from that gentleman way over there. And he still, he can just barely see the top of my truck here. And he's just winging shots off the top of the, uh, <laughs> the, the mounts right there. We end up winning that one right there. Guys, I really hope you enjoy. That's all I have for you today. Please remember to like, subscribe, and share, and we'll see you next time.